Hey everyone, sorry for the delay in uploading this tutorial. I got so much busy with my office work, but I am back with this amazing After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. So let's get to start it, open After Effects and create a new composition by clicking on this icon here. I am going with 1920 by 1080. You know it. Add a solid for our background. This time I am using white color. Add another solid. We will call it map. Make sure to pre-compose this layer and select move all attributes into the new composition. Open this pre-compose and add a gradient ramp effect to this layer. Change ramp shape to the radial ramp. On the top, you will find an anchor point. Drag it to the center. Let's zoom in and align it perfectly. Now add turbulent displacement effect to this layer as well. Change displacement to budge smoother. And increase the amount by around 300. Change size to 7 and complexity to 6. Your gradient should look like this. Now go to the effects again and search for mosaic effect. Make sure to select the stylize mosaic, not synthetics. Add this effect to your map layer. Change horizontal blocks to 100, and vertical blocks to 70. Perfect. This is all we need to start this animation. Now jump back to our main composition, and add your logo to this project. You can add your text as well. Now add this logo to the timeline, and pre-compose this as well. Now select both logo and map layer, and pre-compose them together. We call it logo content. Open this pre-compose, and you will see your logo inside this, and your map inside this comp. Select your logo comp and add a gradient wipe effect to this layer. Change gradient layer to map. Now, if you increase the value of transition completion, you will see similar to this kind of transition. But this transition is not starting from inside. Click on invert gradient, and see the magic. Now it is the same transition as we want. It's time to animate our logo. You can hide this map composition, because we don't need to show it in our animation. Go to the beginning of your comp layer, and change transition completion to 100%. Click on this stopwatch icon to add a keyframe. Now, go to the end frame, and change transition completion to 0%. It will automatically add a keyframe on end frame. Our basic animation for the intro is complete. Perfect, this looks cool to me. Now we are going to make this logo a 3D looking logo. 
Let's understand the basic concept first. This is a basic 2D layer, with no 3D extrude depth. But if we add multiple layers behind this layer with some space between them, it will look like 3D. This is what we need. Now switch back to our main comp. And click on this cube icon to make it 3D. Let's create a camera first. I am going with the default setting. Take this unified camera tool, click and drag your mouse to rotate your scene. See this is a flat image, with no depth. Select your logo content layer and press Ctrl plus D to make a duplicate. Now, hit the P on your keyboard to open the position, and change the last value to negative 3. Make total 5 to 6 copies and change the position for each. Now your logo should look like 3D. You must keep your camera angle in perspective, to see the depth. Let's add a curve effect to the top layer to make it look more 3D. Select your top layer, and add this curve effect to it. Make your layer a little bright only, like I am doing. And it will look like a real 3D logo. This looks good to me. Now we are going to add more layers to the scene. But before, select your logo content layers and start renaming all. Press enter to rename. I am calling them one. Select all layers, and press ctrl plus D to duplicate them again. Drag these layers to the below of one layers and rename them too. Again select all two layers and duplicate them once again. This time we are going to rename it 3. Now, we are going to align them with one second difference. Select all your two naming layers, and drag them to start from one second. Do the same with one naming layers, and align them on two seconds. Perfect, now your animation is going to start one by one. We just need to align them on top of each other, to make it more dynamic. Do the same with one naming layers. Perfect. Now our scene has three depth steps. Make sure to arrange the distance of each block, so the spaces between them look good. Now, change the color of each block. Go to effects and search for tint effect. Apply this to the top layer, so we can see how it is looking. Cool. I am changing its color to pink for both map colors. But make sure to not use the same pink color, else, you won't see the logo design on it. We are going to apply this effect on our all layers. Select tint effect and copy it. Now select another layer of the block and paste it on it. Do the same with all these block layers. 
apply same ding effect on each layer. Perfect. Now doing the same with the second block, but apply blue color on them. Copy and paste this to all block layer. Please note, I am calling same num layers to a block. Perfect. Leave the last block as it is. This is going to be our logo reveal layers. Let's add a drop shadow to the bottom layer of top two blocks. Go to effect and search for drop shadow effect. Apply this effect to the bottom layer. I am going with the default setting. Do the same with the second block bottom layer. Before adding shadow to the last layer, I am going to change the tint color of the top layer of both blocks, because our scene is missing that 3D feel. Select top layer. And change tint color to a little bit bright. Do the same with blue layer also. Now, let's add shadow to the bottom layer. Select your layer and make a duplicate of it. Rename this layer as shadow. Now add a fill effect to this layer. We don't need this tint effect on this layer anymore, you can delete it. In this fill effect, change color to black. Now, add a CC radial fast blur effect to this layer, and it will create a nice looking shadow to it. You can change the direction of this shadow by placing this anchor point to another direction. Make sure to select your radial fast blur effect first. And then change the direction of your anchor point. I am aligning it to the top left corner. Let's add some detailing on our logo, so it will look like this animation done with 3D cubes. Open any of your logo compositions. And create a new solid inside this comp. Add a grid effect on it. Under the generate. Change size from to width and, and height sliders. Now change the width to 10 and height to 10 also. Change border to 1. And change color to black. Now we are going to track mat this. If you don't see your track mat tab, right click here, and in columns, select modes. Now click on this arrow and choose alpha inverted mat. Now your logo has this kind of grid spacing. Now switch back to your main comp, and you will see these cube cuts on your logo animation. But my shadow is having the same spaces between. But we have the solution for it. Select your shadow layer, and then, select CC radial fast blur effect. And change the direction of your shadow by dragging this anchor point. Perfect. We have some nice detailing on our logo. Here is the second last step. We are adding, 
multiple camera angles to our scene. We are using three angles. Select your camera layer, go to around 7 seconds, and press, Ctrl Shift D, to split and duplicate. It will create a new camera on top of them. If you change any angle on this camera layer, it will be different from below camera layer. If you see your project is struggling in showing the live preview, change quality to quarter, and it will reduce the preview quality to make it render fast. Let's split the camera one more time at around 3 seconds. Select Track Z Camera Tool, drag mouse onto the top direction to make a close-up scene. But it will also make your logo blur because we have used small dimension logo. Add high quality logo into your scene for a sharp output. Anyway, I am proceeding with the same logo. Let's add different camera angles to all scenes. You are free to use any of camera angles you want. But for this tutorial, I am going with this. Now the final step, create a new null object. Put this above all layers and make it 3D as well. Press P to open position and add a keyframe over the position to animate it. First keyframe on 0, and seconds keyframe on 300. Instead of animating each camera layers, we are using this null. Now parent all the camera to this null. Either this way, by selecting your null, or, by linking this thread kind of thing to the null. Parent all cameras to this null object. Now, your camera is also animating on its position. But some of the scenes are out of frame. Select your camera in which the object is not in the center, and align it to the center by using Track XY Camera Tool. Do the same with the second camera. Perfect. Render your project and start adding this to your gaming videos. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and I'll see you in the next.